Peyton and JR, Coach Zinger here. Wanted to send you guys a little video analysis. Uh, first of all, Peyton, I really like the things I see, man. Keep doing what you're doing. If you love this game and you work your tail off, it can take you a lot of places, which would be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and bring Zach here up to his first move, leg lift. One thing I want you to notice here is that his initial move was forward. So once he started to lift, if you notice here, he's moving forward. So his first move is going to be this way. Okay, we'll go ahead and take you into your leg lift. It's a subtle thing here, but it makes a big difference. You'll notice. I'm going to start right here. That's where your head's at when you start. And your first move is backwards just a little bit. If you notice, I can see half your face. Now I can almost see your nose. Okay, so that's a slight thing, but if you notice with Zach, his first move was forward. Something we can mess around with, a really good drill, it's called the wall drill, but you get up next to a wall and it will make sure that your first move is forward. Next. Go ahead and take Zach when he breaks his hands. So he breaks his hands right about there. See so you break your hands right about there. Gonna go ahead and take you into front foot strike. So when your front foot hits the ground, we'll take Zach to front foot strike first. As you can see he's moving sideways very well. Pretty quiet. Upper half. Boom. Take him into foot strike right there. Go ahead and take you into your foot strike. Okay, now another little subtle thing, but if you notice where your foot is compared to where Zach's foot is, Zach's foot's a little more towards his target, which is going to allow his direction to also go to his target. If you notice his front leg here is in a pretty good braced up position, whereas you can kind of see your knee is actually on the inside of your ankle there just a little bit because of the direction of your foot. So if we can focus on getting both of those feet to face forward. You can see Zach does a pretty good job of that right there. Both feet are facing forward. You can see once your hips turn, your foot turns. But what we tend to see in a higher velocity pitcher, a major league pitcher, is that the triple extension thing happens before foot strike and then also they tend to have their feet facing their target. Some guys will land slightly closed, but a lot of your higher velocity guys will have their feet for forward. Once again, direction. You're doing a pretty good job there, but I think we can become just a little more efficient there. Go ahead and take Zach into release. Nice quiet front side. So he's definitely firing into it. Take him into ball release right there. Usually we tend to see guys, high level pitchers, pretty close to their front foot at release. Some guys get a little bit ahead. You can see Zach's a little bit in front of his front foot. Let's see where you're at with your release. So also a pretty, a pretty good position there. Getting that ball out front, if you will. If you notice, Zach's front leg straightens up as he throws. What Brent Porcier with uh, topvelocity.net calls the double or the the two X, the double extension, but that front knee and that front hip really bracing up. I think that will be taken care of when we straighten up your front foot, though. Small adjustment, but it can make a big difference. Take you into your finish. Take Zach into his finish. You can see you guys look pretty similar. 
So he's a, a pretty good guy for you to follow. He's also got some pretty efficient repeatable mechanics. You notice you do a good job of replacing your shoulders. Your left shoulder's in front and then here comes your right shoulder. I really, really like what I see with you here. I think with two little adjustments, and I'm talking like sandpaper adjustments, get you shooting out of the gate. So first move forward instead of back and then get your feet facing a little bit closer to home plate, especially with the front leg. And I think that the, that increased direction will also mean less stress on the arm, better control, and also some more velocity. So, which uh, you as a growing boy have got a lot of velocity left in you, which is pretty fun and awesome. So uh, I hope this helps out, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And I uh, look forward to talking to you soon. See ya.